Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the beat 97 ABJ to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 55 a.m. Exclusive to the beat 97 ABJ. Hello, Abuja. You're welcome to Sabi Law on the beat 97.9 FM once again. And with me today on the studio is Mr. Onyekachi Omar and myself, Kenechuku Agu. Today we are looking at a very important aspect of the law. Every law we look at here is very important and that is why we want you to Sabi that law. We want you to know the Nigerian laws. So today we are looking at enforcement of a judgment, enforcement of court orders, enforcement of of judgment. So, Mr. Kachi, what about enforcement of judgments today? All right. Today, we are looking at the, the how long would a judgment stay for the judgment to be valid and enforceable? Because probably there is a duration, you may have your judgment, and if you don't enforce it, the judgment may become stale and unenforceable. So, it says that where judgment is given by a court, the judgment creditor has two years to enforce such judgment against the judgment debtor. The most important thing here is the judgment here is referring to judgment of uh, creditors and debtors. That means you got a judgment because Mr. B is owing Mr. A. You have to enforce that judgment within two years. You know. However, where a judgment creditor intends to enforce a judgment against any representative of a judgment debtor, it should be done within six years. Also know that where time elapses, court can grant leave. So it doesn't make the judgment really uh, uh, impossible to be enforced. Rather, for you to do the enforcement, you have to go back to court so that court will give you an extension of time, that's uh, give you leave so that you can do that. You know that um, for you to enforce your your judgment, to get your judgment is one thing, to enforce it is yet another. So, so many people will have court judgments that they don't even know how to enforce or when to enforce. But today you have known that there is a duration of two years and six years respectively when it's against the person or when it's against his agent. So... You have to be quick. You know what they say that equity is the vigilant and not the indolent. So equity will not sit back or justice will not sit back literally and watch at you anytime you are ready, you come to enforce your your your, your rights. You have to do that timelessly and within the stipulated laws. So for judgment, uh for judgment against creditors, right? Uh judgment in favor of creditors against debtors that has to be done within two years and when it is against the agent of the debtor then it has to be done within six years yes so for avoidance of of uh, doubt it's important to know that when someone is being owed uh, sums monies and the rest the person can approach a court you know, to get judgment. And when you get that judgment, you don't just go sleeping. You ensure that you enforce the judgment timelessly. To be on the safer side, get your lawyer to handle your matter in court and also get the lawyer to ensure that the judgment is enforced timely. For these, our authorities are under 4 Rule 8 of the Judgment Enforcement Rules and Section 94 of the Sheriffs and Civil Processes Act. Enjoy your day and keep Sabine law. Have you ever been in a legally confusing situation and weren't sure what to do? Those days are over. Listen to Sabi Law on the beat 97 ABJ to know what's up. Sabi Law is up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 55 a.m. Exclusive to the beat 97 ABJ.